Oh, jeez, that wasn't even close. Look, you and I, we get it. We buy boots that are a little bit more expensive because they'll last longer. But what about somebody who's not a boot guy? I work with guys every single day who think that boots are something that's $200 that we replace every few months. What about one of them? Welcome, I'm Carl Morawski, and this is the channel that helps you own better, look better, and live better. In 20 years of working in construction, I did half of those in cheap work boots. Matter of fact, my upper limit used to be Timberland Pros. That was about it. Until I saw this video, and then that all changed. I ordered a pair of custom fit NYX Builder Pros. I definitely winced when I pressed the buy it now button. That was the most expensive piece of clothing or boots or anything that I had ever bought to that point. But several months later, I was just like Wrangler Star. I was making videos about my boots because of how great they were. Now as a seasoned boot guy, I'm a big part of the community, right? So I'm part of like boot Facebook groups. I give my advice on Reddit. And of course I make videos like this for you here on YouTube. So I consider myself pretty well versed in the world of work boots, but there's one thing that I can never recreate and that's a fresh perspective as to how great work boots can be when you come from the world of crappy work boots. But luckily I know somebody who can. Meet Tyler. Hi, my name is Tyler. Now, Tyler is a U.S. Army veteran. So I was actually a uh, tanker. I was a M1 Abrams armor crew member. I was in for just over five years. I was a staff sergeant, uh, tank commander when I got out. And electrical apprentice on a hospital project we're building right now. IBW, working through my apprenticeship currently. He's one of the most eager, hardest working, and friendly people I've ever met, but most importantly, entirely unfamiliar with the world of boot folk. Now this experiment would have Tyler wear one pair of work boots for a month each in order to kind of give his feedback on how they are. Now this whole idea actually stemmed from Nick's when they were talking about how they keep getting the same question, which is why would I buy a $500 work boot when I can just get one for $150 and they both kind of do the same thing. And I've seen that question in my comments plenty. So what if we took away the price element and had somebody judge them solely on merit? For the good category, Tyler's gonna be wearing a pair of Brunt Marin boots. Although I gotta tell you, good is too generous a term for these junk boots. And you'll see a little bit more about that later on. For the better category, Tyler's gonna be wearing a pair of Red Wing 875 mock toes. These were brought straight over to the heritage side of Red Wing from their work line. And you'll certainly see them on the job site anywhere across the country. For the best category, we used a pair of NYX Mock Toe Pros. Now, although NYX provided these boots, Tyler doesn't know that. All that Tyler knows is that he's supposed to wear each pair of boots for a month each in exchange for giving his opinion on each. Then he gets to keep all three pairs. Let's take a look at Tyler's typical workday. At 6.30, Tyler parks in the job site parking lot, three quarters of a mile away from the job. He grabs his tools and PPE and walks to the job site for 6.45. Throughout the day, he works on steel decking, concrete, and dirt, running the infrastructure for this future neuroscience hospital. At about 3.30, Tyler packs up his gear and walks the three quarters of a mile back to his car. Now, although this isn't everybody's typical work day, it does include a lot of walking, climbing, scaffolds, ladders, all kinds of stuff like that. So I think it's gonna be a really good use case for these boots. Representing the good category is the Brunt Marin. Now I chose this boot because of Brunt's aggressive marketing and lofty claims of being the toughest, most reliable and comfortable boots on the market. As my dude from Project Farm would say, we're gonna test that. Now lower tier work boots are often mass produced in giant factories in countries with cheap labor. They use a lot of plastic and synthetic materials, often making quality sacrifices where you can't see them. The Brunt Marin uses five ounce full grain chrome tanned leather. The insole is foam with a fiberboard outsole and thermoplastic heel counter. The Brunts are cemented to their sole, which means that the upper is essentially glued to the sole. This means that they can't be resold once they wear out, or at least not easily. Strangely enough, there's a fake Goodyear welt, which gives the impression that these utilize a higher construction method, but don't let that fool you. That's just for show. The Brunt Marin is made in China and costs $139 at the time of this video. So what were Tyler's thoughts on the Brunts? Um, I will say at first they seemed a little bit better maybe because they're light. So that aspect was a positive thing. But I think as time went on, it's you start to feel that because the, my general consensus is that they're very thin, especially on the bottom, um, that they're not boots meant for like walking long distances at all. Like you start moving long distances, working long hours in them and moving around a lot. 
you really do feel it in these boots and you know feet are sore how about walking on um like decking or, or rebar or anything yep. like that so i've been doing a lot of that lately and it's definitely uneven ground you know with your feet moving around a lot you really feel like that through them essentially yeah. especially i'd say in the front part of the boot is kind of like a it's very thin feeling is what the i would describe it as um i think durability wise also is questionable would lead me to question how, how much longer like more abuse they would take um if i was on the rebar itself more i don't know that these boots would survive much longer i think for me the biggest thing with these is comfort it's just you know i'm coming from a lighter pair of red wings um so you one of their cheaper pairs and while you know i would say maybe durability uh, is comparable between the two at least from what i've seen with the with these like low-end boots um i would say the comfort of those other boots is like far superior yeah and you had those so, for how long those i've had for probably i don't know three four months maybe yeah and they're probably in, are in around the same situation like durability wise as these right now yeah. so maybe they're a little higher on durability even right. um and that's like the cheap red wings so like that's you know comparable boots to these yeah. um, but comfort is just like way better how about um if you if somebody were to ask you on the job like hey i was thinking about getting a pair of boots like yours what do you think so actually I, I had that happen to the, to the, and they were like, how, what do you think of those? Like, cause I saw that I got them not too long ago. And I was like, to be honest, like maybe if you're in an office all day or you're just going to use them like around the house, like for like that, like I, that's what I would recommend these for. If someone wants, I think they look decent. I'll give them that. And I think that if you wanted a work boot to do like some housework around the house and not break the bank. Okay. Like for that, I think they're solid for construction work, heavy duty use working, you know, eight hours plus a day you know, moving around constantly, lifting things up and down, like the stairs all day and bending over and whatever, I would not recommend for that. Next is the better tier. Now for this level, I chose a classic, although somewhat old school model, the Red Wing 875 Mock Toe. Now there are plenty of Red Wing boots I could have used, but in the interest of comparing apples to apples, I wanted to use all six inch Mock Toe boots. In the better tier, you get much better materials and craftsmanship. Our Red Wing example features a leather insole, foam midsole, and cork filler. So instead of flattening out, these boots will mold to your foot and become more comfortable with time and wear. Now, while these boots are part of Red Wing's 2007 Heritage line, the original 875 and its bigger brother, the 877, are brought over directly from Red Wing's work boot line. They are Goodyear welted, which means that these boots can be resold and their life extended several times over, something the Brunt boots can't do. That beautiful leather is from SB Foot and is called Oro Legacy. It's an oil tanned leather, which is about six ounces and was introduced in 2013, inspired by Red Wings 854 Irish setter boots from the 1950s. These Red Wings are made in the USA and will set you back about $309 or 122% more than the Brunt Marin at $139. The Red Wings, I, I like that they're a little heavier, but they, weren't too heavy. Um, the leather did tear, have a little bit of a, a rip on the seam, I think, but they held up really well overall. Um, I actually really, really like the Red Wings, um, but I will say though they're a little wonky in the fit. The one thing that they were weird on, it's like they were, the fit is the correct size boot I wear. Um, the, my toe is right where it should be. The front of the boot is like the perfect width, but it's like the back was a little wider, which mm. is kind of weird. Like, it, you know, I wear the same size boot, so. Um, I did put a heel in there and that helped a little bit, but it's just like, why? So it was just, the fit was a little wonky. And other than that, um, they were good. Finally, we come to the end level with some of the best work boots money can buy. NYX was the brand that opened my eyes to the merits of great work boots. So it's only appropriate that we used NYX boots to represent the top tier. The key with this level of boots, whether they're from NYX or another Pacific Northwest brand, is that they develop their boot recipe in some of the harshest conditions imaginable, logging and wildland firefighting. They then took that knowledge and applied it to boots for specific needs. These NYX Mock Toe Pro boots are electrical hazard rated, made from seven to eight ounce work leather from Seidel, feature a leather heel counter, leather insole, which means that these boots will become like slippers after they break in. The construction method is a double row stitch down, which is resolable several times over, meaning that you can get many years of life out of these no matter how hard you use them. 
The NYX Mach Toe Pro is made in the USA and will cost you $500 through the NYX Trades program. That's 62% more than the Red Wings and 260% more than the Brunts. Like comparatively, the NYX are just the best because the the fit, the comfort, um, the weight, I was actually surprised about the weight. I thought they were gonna be a lot heavier than they are. Like the NYX, I think in my mind are the most durable of what I've seen. I've also been wearing them. Even way more than like past obviously the you know like one month yeah you have like two months into those yeah, now i think least. right so um i will say durability is definitely above the red wings even with these since the knicks are three times more right yeah. the brunts are like 169 those those knicks are 500 bucks yep they're like almost exactly three times more do you yep. think it's worth the price yes because as far as i can see at this point in time yes 100 uh, percent. not only are these like an amazing pair of boots but i mean i Feel like the leather is obviously holding up really well these are obviously full you know heavily stitched well-made leather you could probably resold these you could do a lot more these are going to get a lot more life so now last question which one are you going to wear going forward you get to keep all three. Oh, I, the, the, <laughs> these are what i wear i mean these are what i use for work these are what i choose to wear i mean obviously i will say if they get you know super dirty i will probably use the brunts around the house maybe for an hour if I have to wear something just to destroy around the house. But for work, for, for construction, for every day, for working hours and all my feet and walking and doing everything else, I'm gonna be wearing it. So cool. what I've been doing. So. Yeah. Now the results of this experiment really weren't a surprise. Anybody could guess that a pair of $500 work boots would be better than a pair of $130 work boots. But I think that we also have to look at Cost per wear, so you know when you're actually gonna buy these and then have them resold or whatever several times over and you have them for 10 years and you break it down, how much did you pay per wear? But not only that, how great was your time when you were wearing them? Were you actually comfortable? Were you not in pain? Were you more resilient at the end of your day? Were you a little bit sharper because you were more alert, not thinking about your boots, so your safety was actually increased? Now I know I might be going a little overboard here, but as somebody who went from crappy work boots for about 10 or 15 years to great work boots, the difference is honestly night and day. But maybe you're somebody who doesn't like wedge-soled mock toe boots. Luckily for you, there are a lot of great boots at this top tier, which are around the same price point, which will offer you the same kind of longevity and comfort and all that stuff. If you wanna see a little bit more about what goes into making a great work boot, I've made you a video right here, and I think that that will be really instructive as to what you might wanna get, and also which ones might be best for your particular purpose. So go and check that out if you want to. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This has been a lot of fun to to do and I'll catch you next time. Appropriate boot. Um, even all. Oh, <laughs>